Wow. I can't recall the last time there was hail. Uh, we weren't home the last time we had hail. How long ago was that? Uh, it's, it's been a couple of years. Good. Yeah. Wow. This has got to be the most severe. Now for an update on my crafting cottage. Today we are working on the porch and the porch rails. It's nice to have a working door to keep animals from going in like the neighbor dogs or birds from building a nest. Now we're going to start working on the porch. My husband has begun sanding. I'm so thankful that my husband is willing to help me with this project. So he worked on the porch for me. And then we're going to put a seal and a stain on the porch and the porch post. The wood porch and rails are exposed to the weather, so I must protect them so that they don't turn gray and drab and ugly and get all mildewy. So I want to cover them with a waterproof stain so that they can stay pretty, because I like pretty. It is weather-treated wood, but I still wanted to give it extra protection. My husband sanded the porch and now he is putting on a stain. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I'd like to share with you my plans for the inside of my crafting cottage. One window at the front and this this will be my corner desk where I do all my paper scrapbooking, card making, and paper crafting. Along here we'll have shelving, there'll be a closet in that corner and we'll have shelving, a sink, and my, this will be the art corner. There will be a, a closet there to store a lot of my big art things. And I'll have my wall easel here, my drawing desk. And this is the casual area, the seating area where I, I have my chair. You can't see it it's shrouded right now. Um, under cover just to keep it clean because it does give me a place to sit every now and then. But this will be a casual sitting area where I will have a sofa bed in case I have guests. And this will be a private place where they can stay. The cottage is blocked by this storage shed where I keep my costumes and Christmas decorations and other extra stuff. And so that blocks the house view from my cottage and a, a sitting area so I can do some of my sit down comfortable projects and I'll have storage units here in this corner for a lot of my basket making and I'll have a bookshelf over in this corner. That's why I wanted to have <clears throat> two windows right here for that part and here in the center will be a center island well, which will be one of the main workplaces, which I will do sewing, I will do my recording facing that wall, and I can have group sessions or I bring a group of, you know, maybe eight to ten ladies to come in to do a project. It could be a painting project or a crafting project, and I could teach them how to do something that I was thinking about doing a monthly class that would be very profitable for me and it would be really fun to get together with some ladies to do a project. I even have a color scheme all planned. In my head it's already decorated. I know exactly what it's going to look like. You know, I'm planning on building a ramp going that direction that way it'll be easy to wheel things in and out or it'll just be convenient especially with me since I've been having so much problems with my arthritis and bone spurs in my knees and just I keep injuring myself I've fallen down twice and the porch is also an area that I will be working on I plan on having a little table 
and chairs sitting right here in front of the window. I want to have a bench over here so it's a place I can sit down outside, enjoy the shade and listen to the birds, the squirrels and the chickens so I can work outside. And I'm thinking I need a couple of rocking chairs over here on the front. Yeah, two rocking chairs. One facing this way and another one facing that way. So two people can sit here and rock on the front porch as I used to do in the old days. I can only do work on the cottage as I have the funds to do so because I'm not going into debt. Our home is debt free. I own my shed. I own my woodwork shop that I own too and I don't want to go into debt so we're trying to build as we have the funds right now I, it's been really hard to save money because you know the cost of everything has gone up I feel like all my extra money is going to taxes groceries gas just you know expenses that need to be taken care of and so it's been a lot harder to make progress on my cottage so I could just do a little at a time as I have the funds. Now I do have a fundraiser. If you'd like to help me just contribute a couple of dollars, that's all I'm asking, two dollars for every person that watches this video, for every person that watches any of my videos in a single month. That would help me finish this project. Right now I'm waiting for the materials to finish the roof. It's still under a tarp just to protect the waterproof membrane. I need to get the, the actual roofing on and I need to get the siding. I plan to do batten board siding. It's called the poor man siding, but actually it's becoming a lot more trendy. I wanted it for the vertical lines and the texture so it has the feel and look of an old fashioned cottage. Yes, I kind of am partial to old fashioned things because I'm an old fashioned girl and I do want a cottage feel to my cottage. I would really like to have a metal roof because all my other sheds they have metal roofs and I wanted to have a metal roof on that as well. But metal roof is more costly than shingles. And so if you could help to donate a little bit, if, if you appreciate the content that I put out, if you find it valuable, if you find it helpful or encouraging or inspirational, then I encourage you to drop a couple of dollars in my cash app would be my preferred method or you can use Vemo or you can use a button below the video called super thanks where you can drop it there as well I appreciate anything you can do we're putting a seal on the porch it's a light cedar color Kind of pretty, it's sort of a slight pink tone to it. I brought you some hot muffins, lemon poppy seed, and some ice water. And my dear husband is doing it for me. It's a transparent stain and it is waterproofing the deck because I want to keep it nice looking. It's a nice color. I like it. It's nice you have shade to work in. Oh yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about this porch is the shade. It has pretty much shade all day long.
spot. It looks pretty dry right there. Yeah. They're skipping spots. Maybe you can't see it, but I can. No, I wet the whole thing. Not this one. And there's barely any there. This one? No, this one. That one. Well, it's, it's because it's starting to dry, but it's got this got at the uh, stain at the seal on it. Well, I have the instant replay on camera, so I can double check That's right. later to tell you if you did it <laughs> and it dried or I you have, missed it, and I was right. I have proof. I was looking up shopping malls throughout the country. Down, to see right? which, yeah, to see which ones were. Not all of them are. There are some that are still thriving. One popped up, Pyramid Mall. Sounds familiar? Uh, uh, Las Vegas? Not Vegas, no. Plattsburgh. They have a Pyramid Mall? Pyramid Mall, yeah. I, I went, I visited a couple of times when I was stationed there. Is it shared up a pyramid? No, no, for some reason. That's just the name of it. Because huh. I went to see uh, one, one movie there, just one. But I visited a couple of times. I don't remember any malls. I was I was thinking maybe it was close to the Bath Shoe store, like maybe either, either along the plaza or across the street. I, I in my mind I mix Bangor with Plattsburgh because there's so many things about it that's similar. Because right. yeah. I think something happened in Plattsburgh, but it really happened in Bangor, and the location of the stores and the plaza and everything about it in the restaurant near right next door. It's so similar that it confuses my brain. Yeah. But anyway, they, it, it got shut down. It, it, it got shut down. Well, I don't remember. It got, because it was replaced by another one in some other area in Plattsburgh. But it got shut down because it probably could age, whatever. Yeah, the location of Bashu and... Was, was it in the shopping plaza? It was in a small plaza. Okay, that's right. across the... Road was like a Kmart, and then down the road was a bigger mall. Right. So they put it used to be a cow pasture, and then they turned it into a big cow mall. pasture. I don't know the name of the mall. You don't think it was the same one, Pyramid? I don't know what the name of the mall was. Oh, oh, oh! Then it must have been Pyramid because it's the only one there in Plattsburgh. It's the only one I know of. Yeah, that's the only one. The area is so similar to Bangor because right to the right of yeah. the store is Olive Garden. Same thing in Bangor. Right. Bashu was in a little plaza. Mall. Yes, I think the mall is almost in the same place. Yeah. Just down the road a little bit, across the road. And Olive Garden is to the right of Bashu. Right. So that's why the two places in my head, I get them mixed up. I think something happened here, but it happened there. Right. I guess that's two places I have to go back to get it square in my head. It's funny because those are two places that that I worked. I moved from Bangor. Well, actually, I went to Kittery, Maine, for a while. Plus, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I lived in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Worked in Kittery, Maine, and then I think I was there for six to eight months, and then I went to Plattsburgh. So sort of a hop skip. I mean, I went from Bangor to Plattsburgh. Right. Now in Bangor, it was a McDonald's. In the same plaza area, but at this more forward. So I used to go to McDonald's a lot for lunch. I hate McDonald's. They're disgusting. You just want to be near me, huh? Well, we could have a cat cameo. Almost every video I produce has a cat cameo. I guess you want to be in it, huh? Cat meal. Cat meal. <laughs> she wants her petting. Oh, not against the speaker. Okay. 
it would have to do the pole where I'm not, where I can't see anything. Side, I prefer to record at the lower end. had a little rain and you can see that the water just pools on top so our ceiling protector has done its job. Next up we're going to start working on the electric. Not completely wiring it but at least getting the electricity run to the cottage in an underground so that I can clean up the front of the cottage and work on my ramp and a little bit more landscaping. I'm very happy to see that the crepe myrtle that I planted just off the corner of my cottage is doing well and it's growing. I have been doing a little bit of work around the front of the cottage. The monkey grass to line my stone path, a hosta plant, and there's a wandering Jew around here somewhere. Oh yes, it's getting buried by the sand. My wandering Jew. I think it's getting beat up. It gets dropped. Stuff gets dropped on it. And I didn't put that monkey grass there, but for some reason it came with the wandering Jew. Over here I have a very young crepe myrtle so that I can have some pretty pink flowers. And they are off the side front, uh, of my cottage. When my cottage is finished, it is going to be beautiful, both inside and outside, and in the surrounding landscape. I can't wait. This is Grandma's hangout. Thanks for watching.